Hey friends, welcome back to another YouTube video of me playing The Sims on my Inspiron 1520. We're here with Cheryl, yeah, Cheryl Philip, Philip Pine, her friend that she just brought home from work, Gretchen Barbs. I hope everyone is having a great day. Before I forget, comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more content. So today, I thought we would talk about this post that I saw um, on Instagram uh, from uh, one of my favorite life coach. I um, do talk about her uh, often, uh, Lisa Romano. If you haven't followed her yet, go and give her a follow because she deals with a lot of like codependency and narcissism, like narcissistic, narcissistic parents, and all that kind of stuff, which helps. It 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 does. It it helped me like start to set boundaries and even really know what boundaries were because I grew up in a household where there were no boundaries, or people people didn't respect the boundaries that you tried to set. So when I you know growing up I didn't really know about them and now I now I'm learning <laughs> uh yeah and I kind of think that this is a good one considering with like what my work through Wednesday is going to be tomorrow this one is called uh, the post that I saw it was called uh, the narcissistic mother I have a narcissistic mother <laughs> so it's it, 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 you know how that feels, like, like, exactly, right? So, um, and the first line, it says, The narcissistic mother, she lives to confuse and abuse her daughters and sons. And, like I said before, it's by the life coach, Lisa Romano. And, uh, she has written, she wrote a few bullet points in the post on Instagram. So I just thought that I would read through the post, like each point, and then kind of talk about what it means for me and how I feel, or I guess how I, yeah, how I felt growing up, how I feel reading this post, what, you know, what my thoughts are, if I can, like, relate to, like, because I understand that when she does, um, posts like this or talks about stuff like that, she makes it pretty broad, like, tries to generalize as many people as she can, so some bullet points don't, like, go in line with everybody, so, you know, I'm just I'm gonna read through and which ones kind of have hit home for me and how I feel about that and stuff, right? Here, I'm just trying to get everything all situated, right? Just trying to get it all situated. Situated. Uh, the first bullet point that was on the post um is she turns you against your siblings there's a phrase like called flying monkeys so it's with narcissistic parents you ha um you almost kind of have to know how to appease that parent so they don't give you the full brunt of their wrath and one of those things that you do is kind of report back to the parent about your other siblings so you can't there's no trust between your brother and your sisters or your sisters or however your siblings right there's no trust between that so like that's that's i think what she means by like she turns you against your siblings because you're forced to kind of spy on each other and then report back to the narcissistic parent. I guess 100% there has been things that I have told my siblings that I have not told my mother. And then my mother would go and use those things against me. The thing is that 
shouldn't even have been used against me. It's pretty hard to deal with when you have people like that in your life and you grow up with that. She treats you with indifference. I don't think I could express how absolutely accurate that is for me. When I was living in Truro, where I was closer to where my mother lives and she works there, uh, she would come over and she would visit. Uh, my friend Rona, hey Rona, if you're watching, uh, she lived down below me in the same apartment building and would, we would hang out all of the time. Uh, so my mother was there one day and Rona was there one day and we were just talking and I was telling my mother about like, I, I think I just got a job or some something important and I was telling her all of the all about it and as the moment I stopped talking my mother asks me questions about like about the things that I just told her like she asked me what the job is what's it about uh, you know what my hours are how much money I was making and these points were the things that I had just said. I just told her what the job was. I just told her what I what position I was doing. I just told her how much money I was making. I just told her, oh sorry, I, sh I hit the thing because I'm getting all fiery. I just told her my hours and how much I'm making and every single thing I had just said. She just, she asked. She just, she asked. Like, and I, I, I start to get annoyed because I'm like, I just said these things. I just said these things. Like, no sooner did I stop talking were these questions asked. And I, I just, I get so frustrated. And whatever, you know, I retold her, you know, what, and she's all cool. And then she left, leaves. And <laughs> the look on Rona's face. She's like, I can't believe it. Your mother, she doesn't listen to you. She did not listen to one word that came out of your mouth. You just told her all about your new job, and then she went and asked you the questions about it. And it's like, yep, yeah, I know, I know that she does not listen. And I, I, I was relieved to actually have somebody that witnessed that. And so many times, it, or it wouldn't matter how clean my house would be. I mean, it would be spotless. Like you could eat off the toilet seat, spotless. And she'd come in and she would see like something, a speck of dust on the TV. Oh, well, your house, you see, I see you didn't get that or, or that I hadn't taken the recyclables out yet. Oh, well, you, I, you, you should take your recyclables out because they're getting really full. It's like, never ever saw the accomplishments and only sees the the shit and it's like frick yeah so being treated with indifference is so exactly how I grew up oh uh, yeah uh, I get yeah I judges you and criticizes you on every move yeah well, I just said about the, the, uh, the house, my everything, every time I did something or any time I made a mistake or did something wrong, you know, she was on the phone telling everybody because it was all about her. I, I never was blamed for her emotions, but I always was, got yelled at why I hate her. Why do I hate her so much? What did she ever do to me to make me hate her like I do? And the thing is, is I didn't hate her. I didn't hate her. Not growing up, I never hated her. I may not have liked her. I may not have trusted her. But I never hated her. I never hated her. But always, always, you know, every, everything, 
why do I hate her? It's the same with the failures. I don't think she's ever blamed me on her failures, you know, but she has always um, made every failure or anything that, anything about her, it's always been about her, you know, and I'm going to talk about, kind of about that tomorrow, um, when I tell my pregnancy story. There was never anyone who turned us against our father. Our father left when we were very young. He was, he's a very wise man. <laughs> he got the fuck out of there. He didn't just get the fuck out of there. He like went back to the United States. <laughs> so yeah, he, he, he get out of Dodge like you wouldn't believe. Um, yeah, there, there's, there was a, um, jealousy of friendships or relationships, uh, big time. I had uh, been really close growing up to a friend's mother. You know, I never really felt like my mother was there for me, and I never had anyone that I could trust and, you know, be a mother to me. So I would, I would, uh flock to other mothers and I have surrogate mothers so uh, she always jealous about my, the surrogate mothers and always tried to cause problems because you know I would go to them and not her well obviously um and then create dependencies so you never leave them and yes, that's another thing. Um, there had been so many times throughout my life or even where I wanted to. I probably should have paused this a while ago. So you guys are just not staring at the stupid screen. And I'm sorry. I never even realized. I just kind of got onto a tangent. I would have stopped talking and then I would have edited it this whole part out. So you wouldn't have had to see her sleeping and then not I'm I apologize I just got into things <laughs> whatever okay so well the dependency part um uh, anytime I've tried to better myself anytime uh my mother's always tried to take my child but not like take my child well not till recently but I'll get into that eventually uh, she always like used it as I'm helping you you're in your last year of culinary school why not I take your daughter for you so you can concentrate on that and not have to worry about your child for the year you know or you're just moving to the city why not and your daughter doesn't want to to go yet so why doesn't she just stay here you know, and live with me and go and hang out with your grandmother, who my grandmother was still alive then. I hadn't moved to the city yet. It was Shane didn't want to go to to um to junior high, and so my mother said, "Well, why is, your daughter doesn't want to go to there? Why doesn't she live with me and hang out with Grammy? And then it, how about Grammy? And you know, it's always like she always tries to help out." quote unquote help out but by taking my daughter and then using it against me because I, I accept it's like oh okay you want to help me out and by relieving this this huge dependency that I have so I can concentrate on life and things okay that would be amazing of course I would accept that who wouldn't but, you know, there's always the, the double standard. Um, and then rejects you for not agreeing with them. And yes, again, any time, even like I was, I was showing this to my daughter last night. And she's like, Frank, the last one is 100%. 100% grandma. She was, because anytime, and this is true, anytime you're having a conversation with her and 
she if you say something that might you know, that it you think is accurate but it's not or if you make a mistake or anything and that she knows 100% that you are wrong but you're like um I don't know I don't or if you're not sure if you say anything she will will not let you leave that area will not give it up will not stop until she googles it and then proves you wrong that she has to go out of her way to prove you wrong and it's 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 aggravating and Shane even said well this is this is the 100 percent and I hated it she wouldn't even let me leave and I'm like oh I know I know I know like it's yeah so this is a very true thing <laughs> I think there's a lot of things that I do I do relate to and then there's a few things that I don't but it is what it is and I think that uh that yeah it's it's a good thing to uh to talk about and to go through and just get off your chest when you have to you know when you have to deal with that shit and whatever so I think I'm just going to end this video here, and I just want to thank you for hanging out with me, and uh, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.